Chris is facing mountain criticism for refusing to cover the story, but he is getting some support from the Liberal Network's so-called media critic. Yeah. This has been a conundrum for CNN that has no perfect answer, no perfect solution. Some think CNN made it worse by letting Chris interview his brother when COVID-19 was ravaging New York. But that was an unprecedented time period. And so is this one. A famous family in the news. A governor who soared to the highest heights last year, now falling to the lowest lows. Self-inflicted wounds. And a brother who just wants to do his job, just wants to anchor his show. Mm, Greg, the famous family <laughs> is having a hard time and, quote, Chris Cuomo has a lot to say, but he cannot say it. I'm having too much pleasure <laughs> right now from that, from everything he just said. He's the media reporter. Would he have been, would he have addressed the nuance of this topic if it had happened at Fox News no. or all of these con suddenly he's discovered the complexity of life and the complexity <laughs> of reporting it didn't before it was just Trump supporters racist that was so easy and Fox News should be taken off the air we didn't need any nuance then but now I need nuance my favorite part about it is that so Stelter he went to his sources right he went to the he went I don't know he went into the break room and he found out that Chris Cuomo just wants to do his job. So I'm beginning, I'm beginning to wonder what his anonymous source, who that was. Yeah. Was, that like, was that like the cafeteria lady or some Italian guy whose brother is governor? Just say I want to do my job. I, I love that he has, I just love seeing the spotlight turned on them and watching their behavior change. It's, 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 uh, it's refreshing to see them suddenly discover that life isn't as simple as they've been playing it. They have, they have assigned so much simplistic blame to law enforcement for 10 years, right? Yeah. That, that was, there was no nuance about cops. If there was one cop that did something bad, it was the entire police report, police department that was guilty of systemic racism, right? That was, there was no nuance there. There was no nuance any time like a Trump supporter posted a meme. Clearly that means all Trump supporters are racist. There was never any nuance. Now they figured it out. Good job. So, Will, CNN's trying to make this sound like there's a conflict with Chris Cuomo covering his brother, Andrew Cuomo. Convenient. But that's a very surface level analysis or, or defense of the situation. This is actually about Chris Cuomo writing statements and emails that then the governor's office actually sent out almost verbatim on behalf of the governor during the scandal. So mm -hmm. there are layers to this that they're they're not wanting to get into. First, even on the journalistic ethical level, that's a convenient position to take mm -hmm. where you were perfectly fine covering him when he was being lauded and right. given Emmy awards. But now that there's criticism, eh, there could be some conflicts of interest here. But you're absolutely right, Katie. It doesn't stop there because Chris Cuomo is not just covering the story. He is part of the story, yeah. mm -hmm. helping to craft the message for Governor Cuomo. You know, I look at this really quickly and I wonder, how does Governor Cuomo hold on? Right now he's lost his political party. He's lost polling in the state of New York. He's lost every legislature later just about in the state and the only answer is the same one that keeps Chris Cuomo in his job and that is we are watching privilege pay, play out. There's so much talk about privilege. This is fame, a political family. These are people born on third race that think they hit a triple and can't imagine now the world is actually going to hold them accountable for something. This is completely for both of the brothers a story of privilege. So Dana you're very good at predictions. Does the governor stay or does he go? <laughs> but first of all, I want to say that I actually understood that sports metaphor and I'm very <laughs> proud of myself. It was a very good one, a very good one. Um, I, I think a, th a couple things happened that we have to keep in mind. So uh, his chief of staff resigned today. So not only has he lost all the people that Will just mentioned, but when she, who enabled a lot of this, realizes that she better hop off of this train and try to save herself if she can, um, because she's also going to be a witness in all of this. Mm -hmm. So she, so she, she left. Um, the other thing I did not realize is that once impeachment starts in the state of New York, he has to step aside as governor. Okay, it's not like when we saw the Congress impeach the president twice where he's like still at the White House and it's over because we know it's not ever going to pass. It's no big deal. He actually has to leave. So I do think that because you saw his team float an idea today, a deal, in which he basically would say to the state legislature, I promise not to run for a fourth term if you don't try to impeach me. Mm. To me, that means he, I think that he knows, one, he's not running for a fourth term anyway, and two, he knows if he gets impeached, it's all over, and he knows he's going to get impeached. So I think that I don't know how he leaves, but he leaves.
So, Jessica, there was another big resignation as well today. Uh, the leader of the Time's Up movement, which is supposed to be about defending women from sexual harassment and sexual assault at work, Roberta Kla Kaplan, she actually was helping Governor Cuomo go after the women who were accusing him of doing all these things and corroborated in this report that we saw come out. So there's that layer of it, too, as well as this Time's Up Hollywood movement that was on the left that was supposed to be standing up for women. And the woman who was running the show was actually helping to smear the reputations of the women coming forward. Well, I think that this is really a continuation of the story that we've been seeing in the aftermath of, you know, the beginning of Time's Up, where people realized, actually, these stories are incredibly textured. And they're different in cases. Like, do you remember at the beginning that suddenly, like, Harvey Weinstein and Al Franken are the same person, which right. is, like, so unbelievably ludicrous. And I'm sure that Al Franken is still sitting there going, like, I cannot believe that I resigned, mm -hmm. right, after what we have seen happen since there. So I think it was right for her to resign. And, and I do, as someone, well, the only member of the Liberal Party <laughs> at the table, I can tell you that people who have the same politics of me have really shifted away from believing in organizations or supporting organizations to moving to case by case basis. This is what I think about this particular instance. And Greg and I were talking about this before we came out here when the Governor Cuomo scandals shifted from the nursing homes to Me Too, that's when I said this is not going to end well for him because I think that people were a lot more comfortable and felt like there was more fodder to go after him on this where it seems, I mean, these are very real accusations and Tish James, it, it did not make her happy, I'm sure, to have to release that report. There were like yeah. 11 plus women. So they knew that this was something that all of society can get behind, right? This is something that we have come out with, and you're going to have President Biden, who was forced to, and I'm sure he called Cuomo ahead of time and said, I said on Stephanopoulos, if the report is bad, that you're going, and that was the standard you wanted us to hold you to, and I've known you for decades, and I loved your dad, but this is the standard that we've set for well, the Well, the White House has denied that the president has called Andrew Cuomo Sorry. directly. I, I do not no, have no, any directly. information. They I just bet he didn't. Just, they have been I bet asked. the prime minister called. The prime, yeah, Ron Klain may have called. But the other like, thing on the really? nursing home issue is it wasn't Boris just Andrew called? Cuomo. It was a number of Democratic governors who were also involved. But once again, the nursing home thing. So nuance. it's easy to walk away from we that. We now have nuance. The complexity. There was a the complexity. I love nuance, though. I know, but before we, before we didn't have any nuance. Now we have nuance. Lots of nuance. Up next. <laughs>